Hello guys, welcome back to another video, so sorry for the noise in the background but in today's video I'm going to be having a look at this TP-Link AC750 Wi-Fi range extender so this is for my grandparents because they have a little office room in the garage and it does not get very good Wi-Fi signal now this is not something I'd normally go for I would recommend over this a TP-Link Powerline Wi-Fi extender since it's basically Ethernet which runs through the power so you have one that sits next to your router plugged into it and another one which does the Wi-Fi extending so you get basically the same speed but in this case that's not possible I have one and we tried it but since the garage is on a separate circuit it won't work it will connect for a split second and then it won't because obviously the main ones plugged into the router in the house and the garage is on a different circuit so this is the best one to go for well we picked it up for £22 in curries so hopefully it's good um, as it's a TP-Link product it does have three year warranty which is one of the things that I like about the TP-Link products so yeah let's get into it so this is a dual band Wi-Fi extender which means it does 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz now if you don't know 2.4 gigahertz does lo do longer range and stuff and the Wi-Fi here is separated so it comes up so 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz comes up as two separate networks so this might have to be connected twice but then again I don't actually think that 5 gigahertz will actually reach to the garage so this will probably just be used as a 2.4 gigahertz sort of extender So it's quick installation guide. Now it said on the box actually um, about an app. So I'll just download that app, the TP-Link Tether app. Now if you don't know, you can literally just scan a QR QR code on your phone just by going to the camera app. Now the my grandparents do actually get um, 70 megs Wi-Fi speed, but their BT Hub 5 is absolute shite. Um, so if you plug in a laptop to the Ethernet port on it, you do get that 70 meg, but wirelessly you seem to max out at 30. So this will probably not get the fastest speeds, but the laptop that's currently in there only gets 3 megabytes and it's like two dots connected. So hopefully this will fix it and now I'm just going to put the receipt in the box. A lot glossier than I thought it would be. So yeah, it does 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz like it shows there. Um, it's got an Ethernet port, so if you have a device nearby that does not support Wi-Fi, you can just plug an Ethernet straight into it, and it will run better. So, let's have a look at this app then. So, it wants a TP-Link ID, which I did not know was a thing, but I'm just going to set this up with my email address, because although it's theirs, I don't really think they're not going to understand how to use this. I'm literally only going to use this for setting it up and then it, it will just stay on my phone just there so set up new device so although this is meant to go in the garage I'm going to set it up here in the in the house so this is the front bedroom it's across from the route I'm just going to plug it into this down here get it set up and then we can link it to and then it should just work when we plug it in outside in the garage. I'm not sure how well it will work, so that's why we've kept the receipt, because I'm not sure. No devices found. Make sure you're connected to your TP-Link device's Wi-Fi. Ah, that's why it's not working then. <laughs> this is what I mean. It's low family 5 gigahertz, low family 2.4 gigahertz, and then there's a TP-Link extender, which we'll disconnect to now. And there, uh, so we weren't getting any internet from it yet, and now it should work on the app. So it's come up now, so we'll just select that one. It says it's logging into it, and now it's going to want a password for it. So I'm just going to keep the password as what they've got for their actual Wi Fi scanning for wireless networks. So to do, ah, yes, so I think you have to set it up twice. So so select the 2.4 GHz wireless network that you want to extend it's going to ask for the password for that 
and once you click next it says click select the 5 gigahertz one so if you do not have your Wi-Fi separated as two separate ones if it just comes up as one just select the same one twice and it should just work and it will work exactly the same there these are the next ones so now it is it says it's applying the settings so it says it wants to put it in the dead zone and the little light on it should the signal LED should um, show up green if it doesn't we need to move it closer but I don't think you really have a choice so I'm gonna unplug it now and put it in the garage because we can't do it in here because this is not where it's staying so I'm just go out the app you what speeds we're getting from it in the garage before this is connected and I'll show you in afterwards as well so I'm in the garage now sorry about all the noise my grandpa's outside doing some I, I don't know I think he's got the leaf blower but the BT Hub 5 is in there so we're going to plug this in here and while we're waiting for that to sort itself I'll show you what sort of speeds we're getting here at the minute So 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz won't reach in here, there, so this is getting around 15 megabytes. Now this is the actual room here, and this is the main, this laptop is not very good anyway, but the wi they're thinking about getting a new one, but they don't want to get a new one unless the Wi-Fi is still really bad in here. So it is connected, literally, look, it is just one bar, one dot, and it's the same with my phone in here, only one dot, I don't know what's, so again, <laughs> let's try and do a speed test on here, and that's connected, so I did a speed test on the laptop yesterday, it got three megabytes, oh, it's just, <laughs> it's just gone off, it's gone onto the 4G. So let me just turn off my 4G so it does not have that as an option. Ah, so it's actually come up as an extension. So it's basically the same two Wi-Fi names except for extensions on the end. That's weird. So yeah, my phone can't even recognise the inside Wi-Fi anymore. Um, this just about recognises it. Ah, so... Yeah, it's... I don't know whether you can tell, but that sh on, above the Wi-Fi, it's shown up as red. So I don't think it's getting the best signal from the house, but let's give it a go. So this is the sort of speeds we're getting on the laptop when it's connected to straight to the hub inside. This is actually better than what I was getting yesterday. What I'm going to try and do now, what I'm going to do now is connect to the extension one. The Wi-Fi extender. See, look, that's actually fairly decent, um, and this is now connected as well. So let's see. Yeah, wow, that's a massive speed increase. So yeah, one thing I still need to do with this is change it so that it only comes up as one Wi-Fi network so it comes up as two separate ones I don't know whether it would do that if you had it set up as only one before what I'm going to do is name them the exact oh the app's just refreshed I need to connect so yeah it does say here too far from router it's happy to find a better I'm just going to ignore it so I'm just going to check the extended network I think that's where you go and yeah what I'm going to do is just low family and I'm just going to name both of them so I've got them both set up as low family garage so now if I click save change it, yeah that's fine yeah so it's just lost connection there um, so that might mean it's working I guess I usually do not like wireless extenders because they t normally tend to cause more problems than they solve but this one does seem to be doing pretty good and it says do I want to join low family garage and yeah connect to the network so ah so it's connect yep yeah, it only comes up as one now which is absolutely perfect 
that's what we want and it the I didn't change the password so the password will be the same so yeah although it's still not the fastest that's the only network that's actually showing up so even though it's not that fast it's better than no option so yeah that's the sort of Wi-Fi speeds we're getting which is not much worse than what we're getting inside now as I mentioned earlier about the BT hub we I've spoken on online chat to BT They'll be getting an engineer, not an engineer, they're send, they've upgraded the package. They're um, sending us the new BT hub and we'll be getting around like 60 megabytes a second. And this can do that. So even though this will be slower, it's way fast enough what they need. Because they know, they, they do not need anywhere near the speeds that they can get with BT that they're going to be getting with this new package. They know that. But that means that out here, they'll be getting these really good wife. So yeah, I'm, this concludes the video. I am very impressed with this. For only £22, this is a bargain if you have lower dead spots in your house. Now, I, as I said, I do still highly recommend a power line Wi-Fi extender. They are a bit more expensive. You might be able to get one for a, a decent price on Black Friday. Which is not far off actually, so keep a look out. You might even be if you can't don't want that, you'll be, probably be able to get this even cheaper on Black Friday. Um, so yeah, for a situation like this, where obviously the other option would be to run an Ethernet cable under the ground, but for the amount of internet that's really going to be used out here, it's not really necessary to do that. And it's just a big waste of time and money because an Ethernet cable that would be able to run through here would cost at least around 30 quid. And they don't want to just connect an Ethernet cable straight into the laptop. They want to be able to, my nan wants to be able to use her iPad out here, her phone, and my granddad probably his phone and his Kindle as well. So they still need to buy a separate Wi Fi router for out here. So having this is perfect for them. Considering it's going through that exterior wall over there, and then this here, it, this does make a massive difference to it, because um, the Wi-Fi signal did used to be better in here, because this, before, they didn't always have this room here. It used to just be a garage door, like this one, and the Wi-Fi signal was better before this was put in. We put plugged this in, me and my granddad, we plugged this into a long extension lead here, and literally just stood right outside there it got green it's just this is too thick it's made out of like metal I'm not sure if it is metal but I think I think that is metal um, so, so this if, if this was still like that I reckon we'd probably get green on it so this is perfect and I don't know why it's plugged into this one let's just put it <laughs> just so it's that slight bit closer it won't make a difference but thank you guys for watching Sadly, when I did get my TP-Link power line Wi-Fi adapter, I did not make an unboxing and setup video of that. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys, or hopefully see you guys in the next video. Hopefully this video is not too long, but yeah, thank you.